From a technical standpoint, the Nord collection was designed to remove any compromise that we ever had in the past and bring it to the next level. We really wanted to create a product that is, in French we call it, la crème de la crème, the very best there is. I used to be the chief engineer in the engineering department. Now I'm the president of the company. It makes me really proud of what we achieved since we've been working on that for so many years. And now we've come to the point where we made it. Every power amplification stage in the new collection has the Moon Distortion Cancelling Amplification System. This new system is based on experience we have from the past, and we always created circuits without any global feedback. So the correction signal only appears at the output and it's re-ejected at the output stage. Shortest path, cleaner circuit, better error correction system. A lot of benefits of this correction system that we design is that it corrects everything. Not only the distortion, but also the noise. It corrects the output damping factor. And it also creates a signal correction that is wide band, so it corrects on all the frequencies. This new design was inspired by our previous circuit amplification that did not include global feedback. We've pushed it to another level where we refine most of the components around it and the way it was done. The end result is an amplifier that shows very low noise, a wide bandwidth and very, very low distortion. What this means to the listener is much more precise sound a deeper background and a very low noise floor. A fantastic volume control technology is used in our Moon 641 and 791. It's called the m -Vol tree. With it, the volume control attenuation is made precisely at the proper place on the signal path on the circuit board. But the manipulation, of course, is made by the knob on the front or from the BRM1 remote control. The volume control basically speaks to a microcontroller which keeps in memory the value of the volume settings. And then in the digital world, control an analog circuit which will make the attenuation of the signal. The goal is to give a great feel while manipulating the knob and still get the best sound quality. And the circuit is built with very precise components that allows a perfect matching between the channels which makes both channels in perfect balance and eliminate crosstalk. The M-Ray 2, found in our Moon 891, brings it even further. This volume control uses an array of high precision 0.1% resistors and analog switches. And it's all implemented discreetly and it takes a big place on the board. But all this is to give the best sound possible. And it is also the lowest noise volume control we've ever made. And we have a third volume control technology called the MHV, that stands for Moon Hybrid Volume. And that's implemented in the 681 network player and DAC. And it is used when the 681 is configurable in variable output mode. So it can be used to be connected directly into a power amplifier. The problem with traditional digital attenuation is that you end up with losing resolution. However, we use a hybrid approach in this volume control. What happens is we have several gain stage in the analog section of the DAC in such a way that we can attenuate only slightly using digital attenuation. And so we can move from steps to step and attenuate less in the digital world. The incoming digital signal is upsampled to 32-bit resolution, which is far bigger actually than the real musical information. And then the attenuation happens on the least significant portion of it. As a result, we have volume control that has no signal degradation. From a pure performance point of view, this is the very best products we have ever made. So I am super proud of the launch of the Nord collection because we don't think we could have done better.